This is not hate speech. This is my opinion. What happened, happened, and it was messed up. So I'm gonna speak about it and I'm gonna give my opinion on it. Yo, what is good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. And boy, in this video, we have a very spicy topic to talk about. And I ain't gonna lie, the stuff we're gonna talk about in this video is kinda on the wild side. Like, I don't think it's gonna get this video taken down, but it's 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 on the wild side. And yes, indeed, I am going two for two. We just got done talking about another female artist, Ice Spice, who was just canceled and now we're moving on today in this video we are going to be talking about lizzo uh she's an american rapper not a beached whale i'm sorry um she's 35 years old full name melissa v, v van jeff i mean i am reading all that and uh as y'all could tell yeah she's a, she's a pretty big girl in fact her being a big girl is kind of like what started her movement because this girl lizzo is all about body positivity now obviously as a fat person she is going to get roasted so she's all about body positivity and stuff like that you know she's just trying to like spread all this awareness bs trying to like normalize this shit as if it's like fucking normal like dude no it's not like yeah i understand some people are fat and like you shouldn't make fun of them but it's like do they want to be fat most of the time it's a no they don't want to be fat and sometimes bullying does help now i'm not saying to go out your way to bully a fat person but like it like it, it, it does help bro like you got to be honest if there's any person that went from being fat to like being slim who's watching this video please comment down below the reason why you did it please i bet you like 99 percent of the chance is because they was getting bullied and now your life is much more better it's it's improved bro you look better you, your schedule is probably looking better you probably have everything organized like you just you live in life but no lizzo loves to push out this narrative that you need to be comfortable in your own skin which is not the case bro sometimes a change is necessary but that's not what today's video is about i'm just kind of telling you guys this stuff so that you guys can see that oh she's trying to portray like this nice person type of vibe like this caring person type of vibe trying to make everybody feel included but she not really like that because today her true colors got revealed and i ain't gonna lie what she did is freaking feral bro like nothing in the like i not mean nothing in the world would have prepared me for this like th this is worse than the ice spice video like i'm gonna be honest this is worse than the ice spice video. if you watch the ice Spice video you know that was pretty messed up but this is like 10 times worse like yeah it doesn't involve minors but like it's pretty bad we're back on good old tiktok and as y'all can see just by looking up lizzo a bunch of videos pop up talking about what happened we're gonna click on the first one so not only was lizzo pressuring her dancers to stick bananas in their vaginas have other people eat out of them as well well we're done for today yeah did y'all hear that okay i'm not i'm not the one that like usually pause the video and talk to y'all like this but we, we gotta turn and talk so apparently allegedly not allegedly, I, th I genuinely think this happened. Lizzo forced her backup dancers to stick bananas inside their coochie and eat bananas out of other girls' coochies. I'm, I'm appalled. I'm, I'm appalled. You know, you want to know why I'm appalled? I never, and I mean never, thought I would hear Lizzo and banana, a fruit, a healthy food source in the same sentence but not real shit I'm, I'm actually fucking appalled like oh my god that's actually disgusting bro you forced your backup dancers to put bananas in their coochies bro real shit all jokes aside bro come on we're gonna continue the video bro i don't know if it gets worse so not only was lizzo pressuring her dancers oh to god. stick bananas in their vaginas have other people eat out of them as well as pressure other have other people eat out of their dancers to touch their boobs <clears throat> and, you know pressuring security guards to take off their clothes her dancers she told security guards to take out their clothes bro security security guards are there for one reason bro to protect bro they're not gonna fucking take their clothes off and go strip bro like they're there to protect man fuck people are stupid just wanted to quit he would get security to throw them in a room and lock them in there while she would have people forcibly delete things off of other people's phone to delete any evidence so she so lizzo is out here locking people having security lock people up in rooms like motherfucking bowser from super mario what the f bro <laughs> i don't know what to say bro i don't know if this this can't be real bro lizzo you're all about body positive you're all about like being the nice person you're a super villain. Yes, Lizzo, you're a super villain. Her dance captain tried to convert people to Christianity. 
by simulating oral sex with the dancers. Then you know, bot. Huh? Bro, what? I'm so confused. What? They shame dancers as you do. And this dancer that we mentioned earlier, during a rehearsal, she was not allowed to go to the bathroom, so she had to pee herself in a see-through dress. Okay, so now we got, first off, we got Lizzo uh, forcing people to put bananas in their cooch. We got Lizzo, uh, I don't even want, man, you know what, we're just gonna go over that at the end. But, okay, we're gonna talk about this. Bro, she, Lizzo, are you a fucking middle school teacher? If your freaking dancer wants to go use the bathroom, let them go use the fucking bathroom, bro. We're not little kids, bro. In a see-through dress, well, that means everybody saw that shit. She was so embarrassed, bro. Why did you do that? What if someone did that to you? Your fat ass would be embarrassed. Damn right. Lizzo's ex-creative director spoke out today in favor of the dancers who- For clarification, I'm not part of the lawsuit, but this was- Oh, they're suing her. Yes, but this was very much my experience in the time there. Shout out to the dancers who had the courage to bring the light. I don't know what that says, but- Yeah, apparently they're suing her. Who are pressing the lawsuit, and so did another dancer. Echoing what Conquest said, I haven't been a part of the world for around three years for a reason. I very much applaud the dancer's courage to bring this into light, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah. How is this so dark-sided? I'll swear to God. Okay, now we can finally go over everything. Number one, we got Lizzo forcing people to put bananas in their coochies. Number two, we got Lizzo forcing people to eat bananas out of other people's coochies, sex workers' coochies, which is dirty nasty disgusting like lizzo why don't you go do that shit because you you need to eat fucking healthy number three she out here locking people in dungeons like a, like it's the medieval times like bro what are you doing and number four she's fucking bitching up her dancers she's not even letting them go use the bathroom like some goddamn teacher like bro calm the fuck down i don't know why lizzo is on smoke bro i don't know if she's tired of like getting bullied i don't know like bro who's spitting her coffee i mean mm, not coffee who who's spitting her fucking milkshake if real shit bro who who's who's spitting her freaking vanilla chocolate milkshake who's spitting her cheeseburger bro that's more like a real shit like why is she on smoke and now we're gonna take a look at the video of the worker speaking out i'm so new to this industry and for the off the bat Charlie looks like she's about to cry this to be my first experience is really crazy ariana davis and crystal williams were both on lizzo's amazon prime show Watch out for the, big the pair also went on tour with a grammy award-winning artist whose real name is melissa jefferson davis says she was pressured to attend sex shows in europe even though oh my god bro even though it was against her religious beliefs are you serious lizzo wow bro this shit is sad it was against her religious beliefs if to be honest this was a corporate office and she was doing exactly the same thing that she was doing on tour immediately that would be so many hr violations on tuesday the dancers and their lawyer filed a lawsuit against lizzo the stars bro literally deserve bro because she really said fuck you and fuck your religion to that girl bro really she don't give a fuck she she did it anyways bro damn production company and shirlene quigley who is the captain of lizzo's dance team quigley posted to instagram the same day the suit was filed but did not reference it directly and i just feel so blessed i feel so thankful i feel so full of joy i had why the fuck is she so happy bro aren't you gonna sue her such an amazing time on tour the dancers say they what were the hell to a hostile work environment that included weight shaming and unequal pay who the f bro weight shaming who the fuck was who the fuck was weight shaming better not be lizzo weight shaming better not be oh, oh if i catch lizzo irl weight shaming somebody oh it better not have been lizzo it better not have been lizzo calling other bitches fat I swear to God, bro. Unequal pay. That, bro. Oh my God. She out here enslaving them, bro. This is worse than Nick A30. William says she's speaking out because Lizzo is set to do a second season of her Amazon Prime show. So if there's anything that I can do in my power to ensure that dancers or singers or whoever decides to work with her don't have to go through that same experience, I'm gonna do that. The pair says they were eventually fired from Lizzo's tour. Okay, all right, now I gotta I got speak about this. 
Why wait until you get fired? If they were smart, they would have quit. If this, but I ain't gonna lie, I can't blame them though, cause like they, they they felt like they were pressured, like they were just already in that environment, so they felt like if they didn't do this, oh something bad might happen. Like I mean, cause to them, Lizzo Lizzo has all the power. She's famous. She's like like she they, they're kind of scared of her. I mean, like I'm I'm gonna keep it a bug. They look kind of scared of her. So I'm but like if they were smart, really, or they had confidence, I quit right there on the job. If she told me to go eat a fucking banana out of a ran through thoughts, coochie. You, I'm quitting on the fucking job. Who do you, who do I look like? Who do I look like? Nobody speaks up because they're so scared for their jobs. Exactly, bro. Some people they don't got a second option. That's another thing. My bad. I forgot to include that. Some people don't got a second option, bro. That's their only job to feed their families, bro. And you out here making that hard, bro. They're trying to feed their families, and you're feeding them fucking rotten bananas out of somebody's cooch, bro. For real. I was terrified for my job. Just today, that complaint was filed in oh Los Angeles God. County Superior Court against Melissa Vivian Jefferson, which is singer Lizzo's legal name. And today I spoke with three of her former dancers who allege they were victims of sexual harassment and assault. I think I even remember making a joke about the poopers, like lotion on her body. Okay, hold on. Just to like have something to say about the fact that I just, you know, touched somebody that I did not want to touch. Um, did she make you touch her specifically somewhere? Or okay, here we go. Just the body in general. Her, her breasts. Okay, so apparently she had to grab someone else's titties as well. That's another one. Those Add that to the list. Plaintiffs Ariana Davis, Crystal Williams, and Noel Rodriguez. Those are the three former employees who allege misconduct by Lizzo, including sexual, religious, and racial harassment. As racial, they're both black. Stop, bro. Oh my, what? As well as disability discrimination. Disability discrimination. Oh my fucking God, bro. There's no way this is serious. Assault and false imprisonment. False imprisonment. Bro. She literally, uh, bro. Y'all heard it with your own ears. She locked them in a room, bro. She had a security lock them in a room. The incident Ariana Davis just described right there refers to a night out in Amsterdam where Davis says Lizzo made her touch a naked performer at a nightclub. The ladies say these incidents date back to 2021. What the hell? They described to me a hostile work environment in which they worked under the threat of being fired. They say they were body shamed as well. I want to know who they were body shamed by specifically. Because if it's Lizzo talking this shit, her big fat ass cannot be talking. Her big fat ass cannot be talking. I swear to God if it was by Lizzo. And she said, we're lucky that we're not getting fired. Bro. Because normally in the dance industry, people get fired for gaining weight. Oh, but she can eat all she wants because she's she's Lizzo. She, man, shut the. F Are you serious, bro? Ain't no way. So she she gonna sit there and gobble up all the food for herself. But you you can't gain weight, nah. You can't be as big as me. You know what that sounds like, Kim Jong Un, bro. This sounds like North Korea, bro, where nobody could be fat by him. I'm, yes, yes, y'all heard that right. I'm comparing Lizzo to Kim Jong Un. And what are you gonna do about it? Cause it's true. You, it's true, bro. You can't say nothing about it. You know it's true. Me specifically, um, not only through her management, but with her uh, individually, um, speaking up in uh, a meeting, and then days later being um, let go. Williams Are you Davis serious, bro? This year, and Rodriguez resigned over how Davis and Williams were treated. They're Thank God she was smart enough to fucking leave, bro. tells me they're seeking unspecified compensatory damages for emotional trauma and distress, among other issues of course. Yes, get your bag. Yes, please sue her. Please, bro. I want to see Lizzo get sued. Real shit, bro. I want to see Lizzo go sued. Because she want to tell other people not to gain weight, but her big fat just gets to eat all the food. I want to see you get sued, lose all your money, and then you can't eat no damn food. You just, you going to be starving. You ain't going to have no money. You're going to be starving. You're going to lose that fucking weight. Okay, so just to wrap things up, we start off with Lizzo as a person who's all about body positivity. And now we're ending off with her... Um, Forced to eat bananas out of someone else's cooch, uh, putting bananas in their cooch, touching a stripper's breasts, um, locking people up in basements like a fucking kidnapper. What else? Oh yeah, 
make fun of work, make it fun of her workers for being overweight. Well, her big fat ass is twice as big as both of them combined. Also, this is not hate speech. This is my opinion. What happened happened, and it was messed up. So I'm gonna speak about it, and I'm gonna give my opinion on it. Again, if anybody tries to take this video down, I will fight back. But yeah, in conclusion, Lizzo. Stop mistreating your work. Man, you, you ain't even... Why am I telling her to stop mistreating her workers? It's just she already did it. And she's about to lose her whole career. Why am I telling her that? She's not going to find any more background dancers, but that's it. It's over. She's done. As soon as soon as every, as soon as every information reaches like global and everybody knows how she is, nobody going to want to be her background dancer unless it's like a homeless person who desperately needs the money. But uh, yeah, with that being said, um, I hope you weren't eating any food while watching this video. Because if you were, I kind of feel bad. You probably had to gag that shit out. I ain't going to lie. But yeah, um, if you enjoyed this video and y'all want to see more, make sure y'all let me know down below in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about all this. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace.